program and we're talking to you now from Ugly Daisy Studio. And I'm Miss Petra and this is Miss G. And I'm Miss G. G. And I'm wearing I'm probably, wearing a mask for social distancing because we're too, you know, we're Yeah, we're both pretty close. pretty close yep. here as we as we talk. But uh, what we want to do is just get to know you a little bit and uh, tell you about what the first assignment was. So um, it, you saw Yeah, you brought in this you, uh, uh, kind of interesting uh, soccer ball here. What's with that? Uh, well, I was just <laughs> out in the yard with the dog uh -huh. and I came, I, I was playing with this and I thought this would be perfect for an assignment. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's like what uh, teachers will call an icebreaker assignment. And so what it is is like just have a lot of fun with this idea. And the idea is, is to take the pens that we gave you in your bags, and um, some of you have different colors, different not color all the same pens. colors. But we, you right, should have, colors. Yeah, you should have two color pens right. and right. a black one. They're permanent right. markers. And yep. then maybe start making some patterns in the little, you can see the little areas here. I, I don't know if you can see that on the camera very well, but on the white areas, you could start making patterns, either patterns you or start? drawings. Yeah, I could oh, start. Is this, I could, this I gonna start, start with something. a pattern on the, on the soccer ball and but the... Two things that I'm really interested in as an artist is I'm interested in your stories. I want, I want your content, the ideas and the subject matter to be your stories. So I, I don't want to say, oh, paint a tree or paint, you know, this or that. You know, I want you to come up with something. And some of you may come up with um, just writing. And so the writing could be a pattern, like a poem. Oh, or like, like you do like in a, like, uh, like that where you uh, write yeah. little patterns in the circle kind of yeah. like. like yeah, circle, it could be like a circle even, poem or a, yeah, a circle poem or something like spiral that. Spiral poems. And so that's one of the things I'm interested in. The second big thing I'm interested in is, is, we're going to talk about this probably live when we go talking about it, but space Ooh. and the type of space you work on. Like on a piece of paper, you have this little space like this, and that's your stage where you work everything out. So you concentrate on dividing up that space and well, making that space. Well, these are already divided. Look at I that. Know, you can see yeah. like the stitching right in there. So we got these perfect little shapes called, well, they're six sided. What are right. six sided shapes yeah. called? A he a hex hexagon. Yeah, hexagons. Yeah. So you can really do okay. some funky things with hexagons. You're testing me. She's giving me a math, ah, a math test on, <laughs> on art class. Oh. This is why I went into art class. So I didn't have to have math tests. But then I work with rulers too sometimes. Um, you can work with anything. But the idea is also is this is a real interesting space because it's three dimensional space. Oh, yeah. yeah that's mathematical. And. Um, what you're doing is sometimes patterns maybe on this area will lead into other patterns over in this area. So I like to see how how you divide up this whole ball and sometimes like if you put a lot of circles over here, then your eye will compare the, maybe the circles down to here and, cool. and your eye will bounce all over the ball. So there won't be like one place on the ball that's like, this is my favorite part, and then everything <laughs> else is not very good, you know? So what, what you do is try to make the whole space all the way around it as you turn it and work on it, and that's really, yeah. well, it's it kind of hard, but it's kind of fun. It'll be really cool because then uh, when you get done or when you fill up as much space, these white spaces uh, on here uh, with your with your colored pens and make mm -hmm. it the, the soccer ball design, God, take a picture and let us see what you're doing. Yeah, I'd love to see your creations. See we could have yeah. a soccer ball show yeah, and maybe yeah. even uh, show uh, maybe a short video or maybe a picture yeah, of you yeah. doing a soccer, uh, yeah. you know, goal with your, okay. with your art ball. Petra's starting here with some really cool designs there. Yeah. Oh, you have the sound on. Yep, I do. Oh, okay. That's good. I'm, I'm making circles. Ah. And I like to do this in my paintings, but see, I'm making some... There's one that's kind of smaller. I'm gonna make another small one. Oh, nice. And then I'm gonna make another one here. And this is called a pattern. I'm sort of repeating these shapes all over. I'm gonna make a really big one here. It's gonna to touch that other one. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then, see, I'm having fun already doing this. This is cool. And this is called a pattern. And now I'm gonna cluster, cluster some they're all, cir here. they're all circle shapes. They're all like yeah. kind of shapes. And this kind of looks like a shape that's kind of interesting compared to the other ones even. And then maybe I'll make a really big one right here. Mm. 
And so already I'm getting kind of interested as this ball curves around. And it's different than if I would, was working on a flat space. Yeah, yeah. And so I have that sort of thing happening. And then I, maybe I'll make some little tiny things in oh, between. Like little dots, like some black yeah. dots. Oh, yeah. Like, and this, this will help the pattern kind of come alive. And I'm kind of liking it. The more I do it, I like it in black and white. You know? Well, so, okay, well, why don't you color. do your squares I, in black and white and I'll do mine in color? Okay. All yeah. right. Now well, let's see what Miss G adds to this, and right. then we'll we'll work all the way around, and we'll see if we can get our things to. Okay, like so. Petra did the circles, and I've been kind of working on on star shapes here. That's kind of what I think is kind of fun. I like working on stars as a pattern. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to work on. And uh, yeah, there we go. You can kind of see how I'm mm -hmm. working. And then what I might do is I might actually take my other color. And um, let's say, let's say I got red and purple are my two colors. And I'm gonna make like the stars kind of like have the lines, like little lines of um, like, uh, here we go. I got it, just stay there, stay there, I got it. I will, I'll make it then. Okay, and then here we go, I'm gonna do this and make the little lines in between. So it looks like there's like, they're glowing. So that's kind of what, and then I'm gonna color them in. So we'll try, we'll see what these look like and then get back to you and look, uh, Check in with us during uh, Thursday or Friday and show us what you got on your soccer balls and we will be, you can see how far we've come along with ours. So you can work as, yeah. as we talk. Sounds great. Well, we'll see you, uh, see you this Thursday and Friday, guys. Bye-bye now.